This is second grade into math, module 21, lesson one. Identify and draw three-dimensional shapes. I can describe and compare the attributes of three-dimensional shapes. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 518. We will begin under build understanding. Anna is writing clues for a three-dimensional shape guessing game. What clue could he write for a cube? Let's take a look at part A. How can you describe a cube by its faces? Well, let's take a look at the connective vocabulary. Here we show a cube. It has a face, an edge, and a vertex. Let's read about those words. Each flat surface of a three-dimensional shape is a face. When we're taking a look at the cube, um, we're looking for that flat surface um, on each side of the shape here. This is one face right here of the cube. This is another face of the cube. Okay, and then we have the top of the cube right here. That's another face. Then we have uh, let's see the side right here. This is another side of the cube. And then we have the back of the cube. Here's another face of the cube back there. And then the last part is the bottom of the cube. And here's that face of the bottom of the cube. So all together, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, six faces of the cube. So we can enter that in here. And every face is shaped like what shape? Here we have some options up here. What shape is every face shaped like? If you said square, that's correct. Let's write that in. Nice work. Let's look at part B. What are some other ways to describe a cube? A cube has blank edges and blank vertices. We need to go back to the connective vocabulary to take a look at what an edge is and what a vertice is. So an edge is where two faces of a three-dimensional shape meet. So here we have one face and one face, and so they are meeting right here. Here is the edge that they meet. So we're gonna look at all the ways that um, the spaces meet. So here we had one, here is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we have 12 edges. Now let's take a look at the word vertice. The vertices are the corner points of a three-dimensional shape. Each corner point is called a vertex. So we're gonna use a different color here. So right here is the vertex. This is the corner point of the three-dimensional shape, and each corner is called a vertex. When we have more than one, we call them vertices. So let's go ahead, you can follow along with me or try this on your own, and let's put a dot on all of those corners where um, the points of the three-dimensional shape are. So here we have number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, and number eight. And don't be fooled right here because this is not a point. This is a line right here that's showing you where that back face is. Uh, this and this line and this edge here, they don't actually touch right here. So that is as if you're looking through it. So how many vertices did we have? We had eight. Awesome job. Now we're ready to write Anna's clue. So maybe you wanna pause and try this part on your own and come back. I'll give you a hint that you can use the things that we worked on. You can use 
the faces, the edges, and the vertices. So what shape has six faces that are squares, 12 edges, and eight vertices? That would be a clue. Okay, next, Anna traces the faces of the cube. Circle the group of shapes that show what Anna traces. Okay, so we're looking for the faces of this cube. So what did we say what shape they are? They're square. So here we have six squares and two squares and four rectangles. So what would be the faces of a cube? It would be this one right here because they're all the same. Every face is shaped like a square and there's six of them. Nice work. Let's take a look at the next page, page 519. Milena is also writing clues for a three-dimensional shape guessing game. What clue could she write for this rectangular prism? Okay, let's take a look together at part A. How can you describe a rectangular prism by its faces? Well, let's take a look at the rectangular prism. How many faces does it have? I show one here, one here, and one on top, so that's three. Then we have one on the side, one in the back, and one on the bottom. Okay, so that is a total of six faces. Now, every face is shaped like what um, shape? Every shape is shaped like a rectangle, so we can write that in. All right, we're ready to look at the next part, part B. What are some other ways to describe a rectangular prism? Here's a reminder about the word edge and vertice. A rectangular prism has blank edges and blank vertices. So let's take a look together. The edge is where the two faces of a three-dimensional shape meet. So let's go ahead and look for those. Here we have one, two, three, and four five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 edges. Now let's take a look at vertices. Vertices are the corner points of a three-dimensional shape. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight vertices. Now we're ready to write Milena's clue. Remember to look at part A and B and maybe take a pause and try this part on your own and come back to check your answer. What shape has six faces that are shaped like rectangles? 12 edges and eight vertices. Great job. Now let's look at part D. Which objects in your classroom are shaped like rectangular prisms? Maybe you want to look around your house looking for a rectangular prism. A few things that I found as a book and a file cabinet in the classroom. Maybe you found something different that looks like a rectangular prism. You can write that here in part D. Now let's take a look at page 520. Under build understanding, use the directions to draw a cube. So we are going to go steps A, B, C, and D to learn how to draw a cube. So the first part asks us to draw a square, make each side four units long. So here we have one, two, three, four. So we're going to make a line here and then we're going to make another line that's four units, one, two, three, four, and another line that's four units, one, two, three, four, and the final line here, one, two, three, four. So now you've drawn a square and each side is four units long. Now let's look at part B. Draw edges from three vertices like this. So here we have uh, the vertice, the vertice, and the vertice, that's the corners. And now we're going to draw edges that look like this. It goes all the way across, two, 
two dots, one, two, one, two. So you're gonna go ahead and trace and draw that now. Then we look at part C, draw two more edges. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here. We're gonna go over four, one, two, three, four. That's one edge. Then we're gonna go down four, one, two, three, four. Great job. Okay, so then part D asks us to draw three dashed edges to show the faces that are not seen. So we're gonna start again right here and we're gonna make little dashes going one, two, three, four. And then we've landed at this vertice right here and we're just gonna come forward one, two with dashes. We go back to that spot and we go over four with dashes. One, two, three, four. And voila, you have drawn a cube. Nice job. Now we're ready for check understanding. Part one, Mackenzie has a three-dimensional shape with six faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. The faces are all shaped like squares. What shape does she have? They give us a couple of choices, cube or rectangular prism. We've been working with both in this lesson. So if you'd like to pause and try this part on your own and come back, you can do so. But we know that when a shape, a three-dimensional shape has six faces, 12 edges and eight vertices, and they all look like squares, that is a cube. Now let's take a look at the next part, number two. Sammy has a three-dimensional shape with six faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices, and the faces are all shaped like rectangles. What shape does he have now? Again, we have two choices here, cube and rectangular prism. From working in this lesson, we know that the answer is rectangular prism because all of the faces are shaped like rectangles and they meet what we've been working with. Six faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. Nice job. As always, you can go back and rewatch this video and you can pause anytime as needed.